So the president today talked up his immigration deal with Mexico, the one that ended the threat of new tariffs. But he said Mexico has agreed to do even more than has been announced. The Mexicans say that's not the case. Chip Reed's at the White House. He's a great, great champion. Thank you. President Trump used a White House celebration of the Indianapolis 500's winning team to wave the checkered victory flag on his immigration deal with Mexico. It was all done because of the tariffs. And the president the claims it was his threat to impose steep tariffs on Mexico that forced Mexico to give in, a tactic widely criticized by members of both parties and the business community. The deal includes accelerated deployment of 6,000 Mexican National Guard troops to help slow the flood of migrants into the U.S., which last month hit a 13-year high. It also expands a program to require people seeking asylum in the U.S. to remain in Mexico while their claims are being processed. The White House says the deal is all new, but in fact, the asylum provision was announced by former Homeland Security Secretary Kirsten Nielsen in December. They will not be able to disappear into the United States. And Mexico says it had already agreed to send the National Guard. What he did here is typical of the president's game show foreign policy, a big production without very much progress. On Mexico's southern border with Guatemala today, traffic of migrants appeared to be unaffected, with no Mexican National Guard troops in sight. This Guatemalan woman told CBS News that she and her daughter are now seeking asylum in Mexico because President Trump doesn't want us. President Trump is giving Mexico no more than 90 days to show that this immigration plan works. If it does not, he says he'll go right back to those highly controversial tariffs. David? Thank you, Chip.